Ladies and gentlemen, thanks again for joining us. We'll have brief opening remarks by Prime Minister Cholos, Secretary General Stoltenberg, and Deputy Secretary Work, and then we'll open it up for questions. Mr. Prime Minister. Mă bucur să fim astăzi aici și să putem concluziona acest proces la care Statele Unite și România s-a angajat deja de câțiva ani. I'm glad to be here today and conclude this process in which the U.S. and Romania have started working on several years ago. Este fructul parteneriatului strategic pe care România l-are cu Statele Unite și acest parteneriat a putut demonstra buna lui funcționare în acest domeniu al securității și al apărării. This is the result of the strategic partnership between the U.S. and Romania, and this strategic partnership has worked very well, especially in the area of security and defense. Vreau să subliniez încă o dată, este o facilitată, facilitate strict orientată pe obiectivul de apărare și nu de atac. I'd like to emphasize one more time that this facility is strictly defensive and not offensive. Și sperăm că uh, acum, în, uh, următoarele, în următoarea perioadă, vom uh, putea pune pe masă toate elementele în așa fel încât la uh, summitul de la uh, Varșovia această uh, faci facilitate să poate fi integrată de NATO. And I hope that in the near future we'll be able to put all of these elements together so that by the time the Warsaw Summit opens, all of these elements are integrated into the NATO missile defense architecture. Doresc să mulțumesc tuturor celor care de-a lungul timpului s-au implicat în acest proiect. I'd like to thank all of those who were involved in this project over the years. Și să asigur atât partenerii noștri americani în special și partenerii noștri aliați în general că România rămâne un partener de încredere. And to assure our US partners in special and our NATO allies in general that Romania remains a steadfast ally. This is an important day for NATO and for transatlantic security. The age is a shore site in Romania we have just inaugurated will further boost our ability to counter the threat uh, we face from ballistic missiles. I'll just continue. No. Uh, the threat to NATO allies uh, from uh, missiles outside the Euro-Atlantic area is real. Several countries are seeking to develop or acquire them. Our missile defense uh, program represents a long-term investment against uh, this long-term threat. NATO allies uh, made the decision to develop this system at uh, the Lisbon summit in 2010. And we have been making steady progress since then. Our system is not directed against Russia. It is purely defensive and it will not undermine Russia's strategic uh, deterrence. Geography and physic, uh, physics makes that uh, impossible. The NATO system cannot shoot down Russian intercontinental ballistic missiles from here or from uh, Poland. Our system is designed to tackle threats from outside the Euro-Atlantic area. We have made this clear uh, to Russia many times. And we will continue to engage in dialogue with Russia when and where uh, we can. Keeping channels for uh, communication open is even more important in times of tensions. Ballistic missile defense is an important part of NATO's uh, defense and deterrence because NATO will defend all allies against any threat and we will take further steps to do so at our summit in Warsaw in July. So let me once again thank the United States and Romania for the key contribution to our collective defense. Good afternoon. As I said, it's such an honor to be here today with so many NATO leaders, the Prime Minister, the Secretary General, uh, to open this site. Uh, we have a saying in the United States, uh, and we very much admire fighters who fight above their weight class. And Romania exemplifies that statement. Uh, it's such a great ally. You could not ask for a better ally than Romania as this site shows. The governor of Romania uh, allowed us to put this site here and have been steadfast allies with us 
They've been with the United States in both Iraq and Afghanistan. They remain in K4 uh, in Kosovo and Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, Romania really, really contributes um, far above its size. So I'd like to thank again the government of Romania and the armed forces of Romania uh, for everything they do. As the Secretary General and the Prime Minister said, this is not about Russia. Secretary Carter, the Secretary of Defense, and all of the senior leaders in the Department of Defense, if we take actions to deter Russia, we say that is what we are doing. We explain why we're doing it. We explain what actions that Russia takes, which causes us to, to have a reaction. So this is not about Russia. This is about the collective self-defense of the NATO alliance. It's about the uh, self-defense of Romania and United States forces in Europe. And it is about missile defense. So I echo the Secretary General's uh, remarks in the strongest terms. So I look forward to your questions. And I'd look, once again like to thank the Prime Minister, uh, the people, and the Armed Forces of Romania for everything that you do for freedom around the world. Gentlemen, thank you very much. We'll uh, start the questions with uh, Dragos Sasu of Digi24. A question for the Prime Minister. I would like to ask you what is the position of the government of Romania in the face of the recent reactions by the Federation of Russia by various officials with regard to this project? I'd like to ask you what the position of the government of Romania is regarding the recent reactions of various Russian Federation officials regarding this project. Reactions that are not pentru acest proiect și a doua întrebare cum va participa, participa România la apărarea uh, bazei de la Devesel? How will Romania take part in defense of the base at Devesel? Așa cum s-a subliniat aici uh, de către practic toți interlocutorii și prietenii noștri americani și as, secretarul general. As was emphasized here today by our American friends and by the NATO Secretary General. Uh, acest dispozitiv nu este, în primul rând, nu este orientat împotriva Rusiei. This system is not directed against Russia. În al doilea rând și insist, este un sistem de apărare, nu de atac. Then I must emphasize the fact once more that this is not a, an offensive system, it is a defensive system. Cred că e legitim pentru uh, oricine să, uh, să se apere și să își uh, aloce mijloacele necesare pentru a se apăra. It is legitimate for any country to allocate the resources and to defend itself. Și aici doresc încă o dată să uh, uh, mulțumesc partenerilor noștri uh, americani pentru că au luat această decizie. And I'd like to thank our US partners one more time for making this decision. Și sper încă o dată că și uh, NATO va integra acest, uh, 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 această facilitate în dispozitivul de apărare. And I hope that NATO will integrate the system in its own NATO defense system. Oricum, specialiștii vă pot spune, sistemul este construit în așa fel încât să fie orientat spre apărare și nu spre atac și cu atât mai puțin spre Rusia. Experts can tell you that this is a defensive system and is definitely not directed against Russia. Legat de participarea României la apărarea, la protecția acestei facilități, Lucrurile au fost clare de la început. Există un protocol în baza căruia deja acest parteneriat funcționează. Regarding the participation of Romania in the defense of this facility, there is a protocol in place that clearly stipulates what the role of Romania is in defending this site. Thank you. Uh, we'll go next to Gordon Lubold from the Wall Street Journal. Hi. Uh, thank you. Um, Despite the assurances uh, you provided, Mr. Secretary, there's a question for you, uh, uh, to Russia, the, Moscow still doesn't believe the assurances. But I'm, my question is, is do, are you worried that this move today further aggravates Moscow to the point where it will be harder to negotiate with them diplomatically over things like Syria and counterterrorism and, and the like? Well, I would hope not. Um, the idea of this type of ballistic missile defense site predates the Obama administration. I was the Undersecretary of the Navy in 2009 when we were deciding on how to go forward with the ideas that originated. And I can tell you, I was in on every single decision-making uh, decision step along that way, 
and Russia never came into the conversation. It was never, ever about Russia. It was always about ballistic missiles coming out of the Middle Eastern region towards NATO allies and U.S. forces in Europe. And I'd just like to echo what the Secretary, Secretary General has said. We have offered to the Russians to show them the technical specs. We have done everything we can to try to uh, make sure that they understand the capability of the system and why it does not uh, pose any type of a threat to their strategic deterrence. So I would hope uh, that communications remain open between us and that we continue to work through issues that uh, we disagree on, uh, but I hope that is not the case, and I'm not certain if the Secretary General has a follow-on. I would just uh, echo what you just said in a way that this is uh, uh, about missile uh, defense, and uh, therefore it's about defense. And uh, uh, our system can uh, not uh, undermine or weaken Russia's uh, strategic uh, deterrent, uh, and we cannot shoot down their uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles with uh, interceptors from uh, neither the site here in Romania or the site we are building in uh, Poland. And that's about uh, physics and uh, about uh, geography, because uh, the uh, interceptors are too few, and uh, the sites are either too far south or too close to, uh, to Russia to be able to shoot down Russian intercontinental ballistic missiles. So this is uh, ballistic missile defense. It's for defense. It's defensive, and, uh, and uh, it's not about uh, uh, Russia, it's about defending ourselves against uh, threats outside the Euro-Atlantic uh, area. Thank you. Next we'll go to uh, Robin Emmett of Reuters. Thank you very much. A question for Deputy Defense Secretary. Uh, we've been repeatedly told by U.S. officials that the site here and the site in Poland will develop their capabilities over time. Does that mean that one day these sites could have the technology to defend against Russian short and medium range ballistic missiles. Thank you. That is not the intent of this uh, site. This site is basically designed for intermediate range and long range ballistic missiles that are emanating primarily from the Middle East. Um, and there is no intent uh, for us to go for shorter missile, I mean defense against shorter missiles. This is for the broader defense against the threat that uh, is outside the Euro-Atlantic uh, area of operations. So there's no plans at all to do that. Uh, next we'll go to uh, Eleni Panayatu of Independent News. Thank you, this is a question to both uh, Secretary General and Deputy Secretary Work. Um, we heard that the BND is not actually 100% effective because it's not a shield. So how effective is it? And should there be an obligation for NATO countries to contribute to improve the system? First of all, this is uh, the most advanced, uh, the most uh, comprehensive possible uh, missile defense system that we can have in a way that this is a very sophisticated, very advanced system and we have never seen anything like this in the world before. Uh, 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 second, it is developed because we over a long period of time have seen uh, the, the proliferation of uh, ballistic missiles. Uh, countries uh, uh, not so far from uh, NATO uh, are in the process of developing their ballistic missile uh, systems and also trying to acquire uh, this kind of system. So therefore we are investing in uh, uh, so we are, we, are, we are making a long-term investment uh, facing a long-term uh, threat. Uh, and uh, and uh, this is really vital and it's key and it's really enhancing our ability to defend NATO allies against also uh, ballistic missile threats. Ballistic missile defense is one of the most technically challenging operations that you can imagine. It's uh, like hitting a bullet with a bullet. Uh, the way we determine the a bit, through a series of tests and demonstrations, we develop what is called the probability of kill of a single shot. And if the probability of the kill is too low, we will take two shots at the incoming missile. So we believe this is an extremely effective uh, system. Uh, sometimes we'll take just one shot, sometimes we'll take two. Um, but we believe very strongly in its ability 
uh, to knock down incoming ballistic missiles into the area. Now, the, your second question was, uh, should NATO allies uh, help build a system up over time? And that's already happening, as the Secretary General said. Uh, there is an early warning radar in Turkey, which tells this radar where to look in the sky. Uh, there is a command center in Germany that tries to determine when and what type of uh, shots you should take against incoming missiles. There are four ballistic missile destroyers that uh, Spain hosts at Rota, uh, and those uh, forces have the same interceptors that you find here. Uh, the United Kingdom is uh, developing a radar that looks very, very far and uh, helps cover the northern uh, countries. Uh, and both the Netherlands and uh, I think Denmark, is that right, uh, yes. Mr. Secretary General, are uh, improving theirs. And I would expect that to happen over time. This is a system of systems that protects NATO. And every time you add a new part that makes the whole system better, I would imagine that that will continue over time. Thank you. Uh, next question from Christian Pantazi of Hot News. Mr. Secretary General Stoltenberg is not going to have a permanent Navy presence in the Black Sea as Romania requested. And how is it going to function? So we have already increased our naval presence in the uh, Black Sea and uh, we did so because we agreed uh, that after the illegal annexation of uh, uh, Crimea by Russia and uh, uh, the uh, destabilizing uh, uh, behavior of Russia in eastern uh, Ukraine uh, supporting the separatists, uh, we decided to uh, implement what we call assurance measures uh, in the eastern part of the alliance. And uh, a part of these assurance measures is uh, increased uh, naval presence in the Black Sea. Uh, it's more exercises. And we are now assessing uh, what more we can do. And I discussed with the president uh, this morning uh, exactly how we are uh, now uh, looking into what more we can do uh, to make sure that we have sufficient military presence, uh, both on land but also uh, uh, in the Black Sea. Uh, but at the same time, uh, reminding ourselves or understanding that there is a close link between presence and the ability to reinforce. And NATO has increased its ability to reinforce if needed. Uh, we have uh, tripled the size of the NATO response force. We have established a high readiness joint task force. And uh, this together uh, is uh, the answer we have uh, given to uh, the behavior of a more uh, assertive uh, uh, Russia. So uh, yes, increased presence has already uh, been implemented, uh, Im implemented, and we are looking into what more we can do. And we will make decisions at our uh, summit in Warsaw uh, when it comes to uh, presence and uh, reinforcement. Sir, thanks. Sir, I can permit that. Pe acest subiect, sigur, a fost inițiativa României și România a fost foarte activă în a construi această posibilitate a unei prezențe în Marea Neagră. Of course, this was the initiative of Romania. Romania has been forthcoming in trying to initiate a large NATO presence in the Black Sea. Suntem conștienți că pentru ca uh, această structură să existe uh, e necesară implicarea și altor parteneri decât uh, România în Marea Neagră. We're aware that in order for this to happen, we need the involvement of other allies and partners. Romania is not enough. Și avem uh, discuții uh, destul de avansate și cu vecinii noștri bulgari și cu prietenii noștri turci pentru a construi împreună această prezență. And we have fairly advanced talks with our neighbors in Bulgaria and our friends in Turkey to advance this idea. Odată ce această uh, prezență cu rol în primul rând de exerciții este construită, sperăm să uh, avem participarea și altor uh, aliați la aceste exerciții în Marea Neagră. Once this presence is built, we hope to have the cooperation and participation of other allies and I have to emphasize that this presence would be exercise only. Și intenția noastră este de a prezenta uh, acest uh, proiect la summitul de la uh, Varșovia, un subiect pe care l-am mai discutat și eu și domnul președinte cu domnul secretar general. And our intent is to submit this proposal to the Warsaw summit and this is something that I've talked to the president and to the NATO secretary general. And if I could um, yesterday in Bucharest, when I met with the uh, President and the Minister of Defense uh, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, it was a bittersweet day because um, we buried two 
Romanian com uh, comrades in arms yesterday who lost their lives in Afghanistan. And so once again, I would just like to extend the condolences of the entire Department of Defense, Mr. Prime Minister, uh, to the people of Romania and to the armed forces of Romania. As this is a technological marvel, but the, pe the things that make it work are people, men and women, and they're the ones who bear the, uh, the most sacrifice of what we do. And I would just like to salute the two brave warriors who lost their lives in Afghanistan and to extend my condolences to the people of Romania. Thank you very much. I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Thanks very much for coming, gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time.